And we're back with whowhatweddings.com. I'm standing here with Elizabeth Fillmore. We just saw a preview of her fall 2010 collection. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about the inspiration behind this season. I think, I mean, there's always a lot of different inspiration for me, but I think this had a lot of the Belle Epoque and the early turn of the century Paris. Just the romance of it, the idea Very of bows romantic. and little bustle details and, and taking the bows into all different little nuances that makes it very feminine. And I saw a little black details. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I was a bit obsessed with the black aspect. I sort of wanted to put it on everything and then was very restrained and did it on what seemed like it would make the boldest statement. And I just think girls are wanting something a little different and it can really, in the right way, it can make something so dramatic. Oh, it was gorgeous. And very passionate. And a in statement. A way. When Thank you. In. Yeah, I, that was, it just felt right, right now. And this is your 10th? Season? About, yeah. It's I, I don't really count, but I, th I think it is the tenth season. And do you still get nervous before your shows? Absolutely. What's going through your head? We do a very small, intimate collection where I really try to keep each piece as its individual statement. And with that, you they're your babies, and you feel like you know you're always having a new child. So putting it out there every time, I feel butterflies. So and is it's, there it's very involved. Is there a dress in the collection that is special to you? That maybe is your favorite if you had. To I I love so many of them. I think the gown Simone, the crepe v-neck sheath with the black organza ribbon. I love that because it, it's so elegant and it's and it has a formality and it's also different. Um, I love the drape chiffon Molino with the embroidery. Gorgeous. I, I really love aspects of each one, so I don't have one favorite. We, often I do, but, and the baby doll, the engagement oh my God. party. That to me, and I just want to like put on. The blush color. Yep, the blush, which is flattering on so many skin tones. And we had found that jacquard satin um, from an Italian vendor we use, and just I was in love with it the minute I saw it. And then a lot of your dresses are stunning from the front, but then when you turn around, it's like a whole other thing going on too. I mean, it's. Talk to me about that. A lot it's of low funny back because lines. people always say that, and I, I always, the dress has to be in a three dimensional way. You have to be able to see it, that it's beautiful, because so many times you're looking at the bride's back. So the back really has to be, I, I think, almost more beautiful in some aspects because everybody's staring at you or waiting to greet you. Or, yeah. And a lot, there's so many designers out there now, and brides have so many choices. Mm -hmm. What do you think is unique about your line and your bride that you know, is drawn to your dresses? Mm -hmm. I think the bride that's looking for an Elizabeth Fillmore gown or that genre of dress is really looking for something individual and has wants to have something that's more of a statement of her personality. And I think she's not just saying, I want a strapless A-line. She's saying, I want something really unique and special. And I'm hoping you know, that's what I reach. And generally, that's my audience. Well, we love the line, and we're Thank really you. excited to see what's Thank coming you. up next season. Thank you so much. Thank you. Whoweddings.com. We'll have more for you later.